Hello, I'm Dave Biller, um, uh, Austin guitar player, and um, I'd like to talk a little bit at Six String Ranch today about some uh, hand issues such as focal dystonia that affect guitarists and musicians of all types and how I've worked through some of these problems over the years. Several years ago, um, I noticed that um, some things that used to be very simple and natural for me to play suddenly were becoming difficult, in, uh, in my case, with my right hand. And I was having trouble, you know, holding a pick without my hand curling up, and it, it seemed involuntary. It was very strange. I went to several different neurologists and... Uh, basically got the same diagnosis from each of them that I had some kind of a carpal tunnel thing like that, which is a common misdiagnosis of this problem. But through my own research, and finally with a positive diagnosis from a neurologist that knew about this stuff, I finally figured out that I have a condition called focal dystonia. It's a neurological condition. So uh, it, it originates in the brain, not, not so much in the hand. So, uh, but because it's kind of a hand related issue it's it's often misdiagnosed you know for more common problems like carpal tunnel or, or tendonitis things like that but uh, it's really not that at all those those things can be corrected with therapy and surgery whereas focal dystonia is a whole other thing altogether and uh, it requires a completely different approach not only as a whole but for each individual will have different degrees of dystonia and some are more severe than others and many go for a long time without a correct diagnosis and that exacerbates the problem a great deal. I came to the realization that I, you know, that I have this thing now so how am I going to deal with it and continue to play because quitting music was just not an option for me. I tried some physical things like changing hand positions, putting constraints on the fingers that were trying to flex against my will, things like that. None of it really worked in the long term. So uh, what it required was a reassessment of like the mental aspects of, of how I play and not being so caught up in technique. It's kind of a personal thing with people. There, there are some medicinal treatments for these things, but uh, Botox injections, things like that. But there, people have varying degrees of success with these things, and I just didn't want to go that route. One thing that I think would help anybody who has focal dystonia is just the relaxation aspect. And in uh, all the reading and research that I've done on dealing with focal dystonia, that seems to be a running theme of just the complete relaxation of the hand and the body when you're playing. Um, the thumb pick kind of helps me to relax my hand because I don't have to keep a grip on it all the time. I can let go of it when I need to. But as I move on with this thing, it seems like I need to do that less and less, which is a very good thing. I never did stop gigging, you know, and, and playing music all the time. It's just more of a change, you know. You don't have to be defeated by it. I had to uh, figure things out kind of on the fly and what works for me and what could get me through my jobs that I was playing. And I, you know, I had some rough spells when I was kind of in between things that, that worked for me and had a difficult time. But it's all about um, just being determined to not let it defeat you and your music. My task is to just figure out how to just get around it and not let it stop me from doing what I love to do. And uh, my message to anybody is don't give up on it. You know, don't give up on playing music if it's what you truly love to do. I hope this video was helpful to anyone out there that might be suffering from this thing. And I hope that it makes a difference to hear from somebody who's had to deal with the same issues as you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, once again, I'm Dave Biller, and I hope to see you around Austin. Thank you.